On the 26th of January, 1943, a small convoy of Japanese hell ships was located southeast of Palau Island, and a part of this convoy was the Boyo Maru. Boyo Maru was carrying 1,100 troops for the Imperial Japanese Army and 270 Indian prisoners of war whom were destined to hard labor. Later in the day, as the convoy was approximately 270 miles north of Dutch New Guinea, the United States submarine USS Wahoo spotted the convoy and fired torpedoes at two of the ships and struck one which resulted in its sinking. Wahoo commences a second attack run six minutes later at 1047, and the target this time is Boyomaru. Wahoo fires three torpedoes and scores two hits that result in the ship coming to a halt. Nearly 50 minutes later at 1133, Wahoo, in a different position, fires another torpedo at Boyomaru, and it scores a hit, but the torpedo fails to detonate, and thus Wahoo fires another torpedo at 1135, and scores a third hit, which does detonate and seals the fate of Boyomaru. It is estimated that around 1,000 of Boyomaru's occupants are dumped into the sea as it sinks. But at this stage, Wahoo remains submerged. It was still tracking another ship in the convoy, and eventually a Japanese oil tanker comes into sight, and it begins tracking it as well. However, Wahoo is unable to close the distance with these vessels, and is unable to attack. At 1315, with Wahoo's batteries running low on power, Captain Morton decides to surface the submarine, and he ends up surfacing amidst the wreckage of the Boyumaru, and this puts the submarine in close proximity to the 20 lifeboats that were launched as a result of the ship sinking. Morton ends up ordering the crew of the 4-inch deck gun to open fire on one of the Boyumaru's motor launches, since this was the largest unit that was released from the sinking ship. Morton quickly finds out that the Japanese were not unarmed, and they open up fire with a 7.7mm machine gun, and as a result, the Wahoo's 4-inch deck gun and a few 50 caliber machine guns open up on more of the Japanese lifeboats. By the end of the shootout, 86 Japanese troops were killed, one of Boyomaru's crew members were killed, and all 270 Indian POWs were dead. The next day, Choko Maru arrives at the scene and rescues the remaining survivors, and they are taken to Palau Island. Now the timeline you've just listened to is what I refer to as the Boyomaru USS Wahoo incident, though it is most popularly known as the Boyomaru Massacre or the Boyomaru Atrocity. Following the sinking of Boyomaru, Morton would never necessarily explain why he shot at the lifeboats but there have been pieces put out here and there that could possibly give an explanation. Morton's executive officer recalled Morton discussing the event like strategic bombing, where civilian casualties would be inevitable to prevent the enemy from building up its forces and attacking the Allies. Morton viewed that should the Japanese troops make it to their destination, they would eventually find themselves on the battlefield shooting at other members from the United States. Another explanation that has been placed forward is that Morton had a personal distaste for the Japanese. He did not view them as social equals and is what we would consider a racist. In every submarine of the compartment, it was often recalled that he had postcards hanging with various condescending remarks towards the Japanese race. Admiral Lockwood, who was a friend of Captain Morton and was also the commander of the submarine forces in the Pacific for the United States, claimed that the incident came out of the Japanese being resilient towards being rescued by Wahoo, even though it has never been suggested that Wahoo attempted to rescue the Japanese. Captain Holmes, whom was a codebreaker located at Pearl Harbor and was also a good friend of Captain Morton's, claimed the Japanese fired on Wahoo first as it surfaced, but what must be kept in mind when looking at Admiral Lockwood and Captain Holmes' accounts is that neither of these men were present, and that means that their word has no meaning. Something that is interesting to note out of first-hand accounts is that Wahoo's crew often claim that there were approximately 10,000 Japanese survivors in the water, and this included Captain Morton. But the boy Omaru, as has already been stated, carried about 1,400 men that day. Inevitably, during the sinking, some of the men that were in the casualty count died. 
So this leaves open to question how many men were actually killed in the shootout and whom was being shot in the shootout as it must be kept in mind there are Indian POWs involved here and it's often claimed that the lifeboat shot at included POWs but this cannot be confirmed and since all of the Indians were killed in the sinking it might be safe to assume that they were still trapped within the ship as they were contained in line of being prisoners of war. Unfortunately for this event, there were no legal proceedings brought up against Captain Morton or his crew for shooting at the Japanese lifeboats, and thus there is no official hand down on whether this was a crime or not, and since that is how history has left it, I do not intend to place input on that either, as it is left open to interpretation. With that having been said, I have nothing further to add to the topic. So, if you have learned something new, why not leave a like and a comment down below, and have a wonderful day.